dear participants welcome to the second video of this video series of open education resource of chromatography the second topic we are going to deal with that is classification of chromatographic methods in the previous videos we seen what the chromatography chromatography comprises a group of methods separating the molecular mixture that depend upon differential affinity of solute for two immiscible phases one is stationary phase and another is a mobile phase so stationary phase it's a having a large surface area of adsorbent material which is stable whereas the mobile phase passes through or passes over the stationary phase the mobile phase may be the liquid gas or supercritical fluid the chromatographic methods classified on the basis of stationary phase and the mobile phase there is a third way by which the chromatographic methods were classified that is on the different modes of chromatography that we will see in the next slide so when we talk about chromatography basic purpose is separation differential affinity of the solute mixture for stationary phase and mobile phase so the chromatographic methods basically classified on this on the basis of stationary phase and on the basis of when we think for uh, classification on the basis of stationary phase stationary so what the nature of stationary phase in case of planar chromatography uh, planar surface to be used on which a thin layer of adsorbent to be there which act as a stationary phase in column chromatography the adsorbent material is embedded into the column so it's called as an column chromatography in planar chromatography as the stationary phase is a flat the examples of the planar chromatography that is a paper chromatography thin layer chromatography high performance thin layer chromatography hptlc all this three examples okay these are the examples of planar chromatography in which a flat surface having a thin layer of adsorbent to be used as a stationary phase in paper it is a thin film thin sheet of paper whereas in tlc and hptlc a thin layer of adsorbent onto the supporting glass or plastic support whereas another one that is a column chromatography in column chromatography this adsorbent material is embedded into the column so open tubular column chromatography hplc gas chromatography sps uh, supercritical fluid chromatography all are the examples of gas chromatography another way by which the mobile phase is uh, uh, another way by which the chromatographic methods classified on the basis of mobile phase that the mobile phase use is a liquid mobile phase use is a gas otherwise the supercritical fluid is used as a mobile phase so on that basis if liquid is a mobile phase called as a liquid chromatography gas to be as a mobile phase gas chromatography so again the liquid chromatography so the mo mobile phase is the liquid which again classified on the basis of what the nature of stationary phase in case of paper chromatography the trap or bound water act as a stationary phase so here the nature of stationary phase is a liquid and the mobile phase is also liquid so it is called as an the, it is classified as a liquid liquid chromatography when nature of stationary phase is a solid mobile phase is a liquid then it is a liquid solid chromatography so tlc hptlc 
HPLC are the examples of liquid solid chromatograph. Liquid is a mobile phase, stationary phase nature is a solid one. Gas chromatography in the same way classified on the basis of what the nature of stationary phase. If stationary phase, uh, if stationary phase is a solid material, then it is a gas solid chromatography. If the stationary phase is a layer of liquid which is coated onto the inner support, it is gas liquid chromatography. So, in gas liquid chromatography, partitioning is a phenomenon which is responsible for separation in gas solid chromatography. Adsorption is a phenomenon which predominantly responsible for separation of components. Again, one terminology is there that is a complete chromatography. In planar chromatography, after applying the spots, we allow the mobile phase to run up to a particular distance and afterwards we stop the running of mobile phase. We remove the plates. So one particular distance that is 75 to 80 percent of the plate height is allowed to run the solvent. So afterwards we stop. So it's called as a complete chromatography. So paper, TLC, HPTLC example are examples of complete chromatography here we are performing evaluation on the basis of rf value of the compound whereas in column chromatography the mobile phase continuously passes through the stationary phase and afterwards detected ilion detected by detector so the flow of mobile phase continuously through the stationary phase so it is called as an continuous chromatograph the third way that is uh, by which the chromatographic methods were classified that depends upon the classification of uh, chromatographic methods on the basis of attractive forces so there are five basic modes of chromatography one is adsorption partitioning ion exchange size exclusion and affinity that we'll see afterwards in details Liquid chromatography means liquid is a mobile phase. Planar chromatography, a flat surface is the flat surface contains the stationary phase to be used. So paper, TLC, HPTLC, all three are the example of planar chromatography the stationary phase in the form of flat surface the differentiation between tlc and hptlc is in terms of the particle size in tlc that's of one particle size 10 to 12th micrometer whereas in hptlc it is 5 to 6 micrometer the questions for assessment hptlc hplc is an example of you have to look out for correct answer Another question, TLC is the type of, so again you have to look for the correct answer. References, Remington, the chromatographic topic, you refer for further details. Thank you.